it's time to feed the fish. You don't want to stick your hand in there. These hungry red drum and sea trout are at Sea Center, Texas in Lake Jackson. Located on 75 acres, the fish hatchery raises red drum, sea trout, and southern flounder. Stocking between 10 to 16 million fish into Texas bays each year. And stock enhancement is not just putting fish out there for people to catch. It is the idea of making our naturally occurring population of game fish more robust. Sea Center, Texas also features an aquarium, I see a guide right there. nature trail, and fishing events. It's open to the public and it's always free. Pond 5 probably has the same issue going on. It's 7 a.m. and hatchery are staff right are preparing for a day of raising fish. Biologist Jeff Bayer starts his day in the baby making room. We are going to start our day collecting eggs from May spotted sea trout spawn. And those floating eggs will come out of the tank into an egg collector. And we see that the eggs have started to float. So we know these are good eggs, these are fertilized eggs. Now it's time for an egg count. 1,700 trout eggs fit into one milliliter of water. So today we have 102,000 fertilized eggs. Next, the eggs go into the incubation tank, which is aerated with oxygen. So that's the idea. These trout are spawning in the passes. It's a little rougher, and we're replicating what happens in the bay. After the eggs hatch, the tiny larvae go into outside ponds to grow. One of my responsibilities as a biologist is we're going to read the ponds. We take a lot of data here. I can see what the oxygen has been, I can see how many fish were stocked. I can see what size the fish are. We're trying to produce 400,000 fingerlings in a one acre pond. For Jeff, it's personal. Well, I grew up on the Gulf Coast. My dad grew up fishing speckled trout in Red Drum, and so I grew up doing that too. And by the early 80s, here I am 10, 12 years old, and even I knew I wasn't catching Red Drum anymore. I and mean, I became fascinated with aquaculture. While most folks are still sleeping, Jeff and his crew are collecting sea trout fingerlings to stock in the bay. And I'm gonna try to put between six and 10 pounds of fish in a bucket. So it's 150 pounds on a trailer. By the time the rest of us are starting our day, the young sea trout are getting ready for their new home. And off they go. Then I want to release them. Well, I can see some grass over there or some oyster shell or somewhere where these little guys can hide. As often happens, a curious onlooker stops by. So you figure uh, these will be two years. Uh, in two years, these will be legal, yeah. legal size. Well, that's neat. That's funny, well spit. Thank you. Concerned. We appreciate you. This is why we do it. Meanwhile, thousands of tiny trout now have a new home in the bay. All done. 200,000 West Matagorda trout released alive and healthy. But how many of those trout will make it to adulthood? If sea trout have the same results as red drum, the outlook is promising. Well, I was there on the yeah. bottom and he was just pop, pop. A study with Texas A&M showed about 10 to 21% of red drum caught were hatchery raised fish. Nice. Really. It's really cool when you pull up at a red light and you've got that, that trailer behind your truck and you hear a honk and you turn over and here's a guy in his saltwater life hat and he's giving you a big one of these. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very rewarding, very rewarding. This project was funded in part by a grant from the Sport Fish Restoration Program.